And we're heading outside of New Orleans here. It is Friday, and we're heading down the Gulf Coast, down 90, to head over to Daytona for Daytona Bike Week now. But in between now and then, we're going to enjoy the coast. And this is us saying goodbye to New Orleans. Goodbye, Big Easy. See you later. It's been real greasy. <laughs> Steph and I have had a lot of fun. But now it's time to hit the road. This morning I woke up nervous as a cat on a tin roof with a thousand rocking chairs around it. I was ready to hit the road. Steph kind of had to home in a little bit. Uh, raring to go this morning. Temperature outside 62 degrees. It's a nice day. It started off pretty cool, like in uh, you know 50s, low 50s. Uh, we've stopped, got something to eat, and taking our time this morning and looked up a little place, a Hickory. Yeah, it was pretty good too. Good little eating. Yeah, it was. It was good food. I don't know, guys. You know, it's something about New Orleans. You're always excited to get there, you know, and I, we we always are. But when it's time to go, it's it's time to go. We've got a lot of riding to do this year. This is our kickoff ride for 2020. So if you've been watching, we've uh, we took out last. Jesus, when was it, hon? Well, you left out last Friday. So today is Friday the 28th. We left out Friday the 21st took out up there at home in the Ozarks and it was in the 20s. Actually, that morning when we got up, it was 19. I think when we took out riding, it was in the low 20s. It was bitter cold. And now we're sitting down here and it's 62 degrees. I think we brought the cold with us, so it's been pretty chilly down here. Uh, yesterday and day before, it was really windy as well. My advice to you, if you've never came to New Orleans, come with an open mind. An open heart and your guard up and your guard up always be watching yeah no doubt but guys we really love New Orleans uh, as you can see in this we have rode all over the quarter the last three days back and forth just nose around because we usually walk it or we have brought bicycles down like I said but man on a motorcycle you can just buzz around so quick uh, be prepared to you know wait on traffic be a little patient. Watch the one-way streets. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is pretty cool. We've just really got out here on Chef Mentor Highway 90. We just got out here. It just opens up. So far, it's been double lane. It's been great tarmac as well. We're just enjoying it, looking for zebras everywhere. Just got done at the petrol station. Mm. I don't know, like what's in store for the rest of the 90s. Steph and I have never been on it. Never have been. So we're really looking forward to seeing this. Oh, look at this bridge. Oh, this is a shit I like. So we didn't even know this bridge was here. There Very we. cool. There's a cool bridge. We're going to slow down a little bit. Look at the piers over to the left and right, folks. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little excited. A little different culture for where we're from. We have big lakes back where we're from in Ozarks. Right here, this is the river. I don't know which river this is. I don't know. It ain't the Mississippi. How y'all doing? But, or is it? Or is it a... No, this is... Is it man-made? So, I don't know. A canal? Maybe I can find a little sign that we can take this a picture. This is an old fort looking thing. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, do a little paying up around here. Get me a mama on the bike. Oh, wow. Got some wide caps, though. A little bit. Not yeah. Bad. Not bad, not bad. 
super cool. Give a little wave. Oh man, I love this 90. Super badass. I'm gonna give you a sign down the road here where you know we're going 90. 90. Can you? I'll do a 90. So a little history about this road chef mentor. It wasn't actually named after a chef, but the word chef translated from an Indian word. This, I think there is a, actually several different theories of yeah, translation and stuff, but one of them is that chef is a Choctaw word for liar. Right. And one of the big chiefs or so that were that was of the Choctaw tribe in this area was exiled from them due to lying. Yeah, being a little sneaker. There's a deal on where it says it was a um, higher up French or Spanish. I can't remember which one. Uh, he came into this area and he made some deals and this and that and other and he lied. And he was like one of the courtsmen or some shit. And uh, he lied so well, he's so good at it, and then they kicked him out, and then it, he dealt with the Indians. And it, fuck, I don't know. But, so it said it was something to do with that as well. So, yeah, who knows? I don't know. And we read about it though, but we thought it was after a chef, so we thought, oh, cool. Somebody must have been able to cook some good Cajun food they lived down this road. Well, that is not the case at all. It's not a chef. Far from it. That's what's so cool about our travels is we don't know shit. And we look it up. And when we go through it, we may learn something that's true. And we may learn something that's false. It is the internet. You know? But you do research. You do the best you can to learn. And so you are opening your mind. And then we'll get off on the crazy shit that goes on around the land, too. You know, the different histories and where it goes into the whole pirate thing down here and the Indians and Revolution War. Well, that's, and yeah, that's just like Jean Lafitte. We didn't know all the stuff that we learned about Jean Lafitte until we, you know, went down into Lafitte and started digging and reading about who he was and what he did. Which was yeah. pretty damn cool. Yeah, he was a badass, wasn't he? Golly. A fucking pirate. Fucking tyrant pirate. Little Henry for sure. He was Henry Way. <coughs> Before there was a word Henry, probably. That's right. It was pretty cool, too, because the other day, Steph and I got to talking about what did Henry mean, but we looked at the definition of being Henry. I can't remember word for word, but basically uh, in the mischief always causing a little trouble and sometimes difficult and hard to deal with. But that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Bay St. Louis Beach. And that is water up there. It looks like sky, doesn't it? I yeah. mean, from here, I'm going to pop my lid. Oh, yeah, isn't that cool? Very pretty. Very pretty. And the trees hanging over the road. Oh, look at the oaks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is cool. And now we're up on stilts. Elevation's 15 here. Damn. So we're 15 feet above sea level. Step and always check that. Now we're nine on the info infotainment center. Oh, wow. So you just go right out on the beach right here. Yeah. Super badass. So this is called Beach Boulevard, and I think it runs the whole little bit. Really? Little docking pier out there we could walk out on. I dig it. Can you imagine living right here? I know. That's so pretty. These houses over here. Playing around with a GoPro there to get some shots. Had some dude comment the other day on uh, Instagram. He was like, TJ, do you do any moving, moto vlogging? 
I guess he thought that we shipped our bike to different locations and took pictures. And the answer is that, uh, yeah. Uh, we ride our bike everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many, like, is that air miles that we had last year on the bike? I don't you know? know. I don't know. Super awkward. We have those people with these weird... And it will usually be some of the same people, too, with these same... The, they're, it's always like a odd comment or odd question, which I'm thinking, are, are they being smartass, or are they just don't know or yeah trying to prove a point or but definitely we ride our bike we do movie moto vlogging <laughs> spanish moss spanish <laughs> the spanish moss hanging, <laughs> hanging from these oaks so it does look like this is the bridge coming up. This is Bay St. Louis Bridge. Okay. That crosses over the St. Louis Bay. So St. Louis Bay is going to be up here on our left. This is the Mississippi Sound on our right. Okay, so this is the bridge that got destroyed in 05 by Hurricane Katrina. I mean, absolutely demolished this bridge. You can look online and see it. So they rebuilt this bridge. Yeah, 05. Wow, man. I came down here not the very next Mardi Gras, but the Mardi Gras after that definitely changed. It uh, looks like there's some parking and stuff on that little bay out there. All right, let's go out there if we can figure out how to. Okay. Get off this bike and take a canter. Right up here on the right. Looks like that's the little road. Everybody's out bicycling. It's always nice to see everybody out enjoying the pretty place they live. Got a little pavilion. Got some kayaks out there, I bet you could rent. Okay, okay, okay. Digging it. No overnight RV parking. Yeah, I can see us pitching a tent out there on that pier. Hell yeah. Ooh, having a good old time. Half case. No shaggies. Oh, ain't she pretty. So this must be where you can uh, put your boats in. Yeah. He's on down here. Yeah. Give us enough room to do a little wheeling. A wheelie? A little wheelie? We're not doing a wheelie off this thing. Not doing a wheelie, Mama say. No. Maybe a lot of wind right here, and I apologize if there is. Steph and I are checking out the pier right here at Bay St. Louis. What's it called? Something music? Oh, that's music. Mississippi Sound. That just throws me off so much. Mississippi Sound. Are you hooked on sea turtles? All right, all right. Steph and I are fixing to head across the Bay St. Louis Bridge. As you can see it over there. Just stopped right over here on the pier. Really cool. Digging it. Okay, let's disrupt all these birds. Sorry, guys. Sorry to wake you. I don't know. I'm kind of going between them, but do my best. Sorry, guys. Didn't mess with them too much. They've already landed and went back to sleep. Man, look at that sign blowing. Man. Got a little bit of wind. Yeah, a little bit. Come to a complete stop and we we'll take a ride. So we are on the scenic Gulf, no, the Gulf Coast Scenic Byway. Gulf Coast Scenic Byway. Yeah, I think Bay St. Louis was actually, after the hurricane, just about depleted, deserted almost. It really had to regain its population and structure back after the hurricane and start rebuilding stuff just having basically everything in the town because you know it was destroyed devastation man Oof. i'll tell you tell you what people are resilient you know i'm sure there's people that's lived here all their lives and their parents and grandparents they just ain't gonna give it up and i don't blame them yeah because it's home baby Some cool columns that on both sides 
I'm sure it had some kind of historical significance, but we don't know what that is. But what the fuck is that? Over there. Two of them? Are they crazy as hell? They're windy as hell out here. God dang. They're crazy than we are. Uh, they're like, I'm going to have a good time. I don't care. I don't know what it is. Yeah, they, by God, they are. Yeah, there's, Three of them. Yeah, hell yeah, they are. We're going to just nose off down in here, and we're just going to take a ride and go look and see what the hell they're doing. Because that's what we do. We're nosy. We're, <laughs> we be nosy. Yeah, they're just out there parasailing around, boys and girls. They're like they got some good old sins. Look at them. Look at them just out there having fun with them big old kites tied to their butts. They're crazy. Old boys right there in their little uh, setting down bicycle things. I don't know what you call them. So pretty through here too. Got the sandy beaches. The, so pretty. The road is seriously directly right on the beach here. Well, we just nosed a little bit and that was fun. But they gotta have some wetsuits on. It's cold. Look at crazy boys out there having fun. All the girls, crazy girls out there showing how the boys how to do it. Look at me, look at me. Oh boy, look at that white sand. Well, welcome to the golf, folks. Yeah, so this is Shaggy's. We got told to come here, didn't we? We did. I don't remember. I think it was someone on YouTube, and uh, then they also messaged us on, I think, Instagram. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, they said definitely check out Shaggy's, and I'm pretty for sure they said right here before yeah, we, Gulf Port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we'll just make our way back over here to Shugish. Looks like you can park right up front. There's another bike parked up there. Okay. Yeah, park yeah. next to that street glide looking thingy. Street glide? I don't know if it's a street glide or... I think it is a street glide, a matter of fact. Yeah, not a street glide. They're riding two up. They're riding two up, are they? Whoever this is. Whoever that is. Unless well, he's wearing both helmets. Well, it could be. He may have a lot to cover. Shaggy's. Pretty cool. The wind's blowing. It's up on uh, pylons. Or it's up what we'd call telephone post. Anyway, it's on stilts. And the wind's blowing pretty good. And you can feel the whole place rocking. It's like I've been drinking a little bit. Before. It took me a minute. I was like, what the hell is this place shaking? Yeah, not used to it. Very cool though. Hard Rock Cafe here in Biloxi. Big old guitar in it, mama. Yeah, it is. People travel all over to go to a Hard Rock, don't they? They sure do. Ooh, what they got going on over here? A little run for the cause? Yeah, I think it's a little... Fun run? It's a nice day, it's 60 degrees. We're leaving out of Biloxi right now. Heading on down the shore. Heading toward Dolphin Island. Massacre Island. I've been looking forward to this ever since we started talking about this trip. Just because of history. And it's interesting to see how it all lays down here. Right now we're 18 feet above sea level. Looking on the elevation on the infotainment center. So one thing about Dolphin Island that I, was, uh, that I didn't know is the on the North Shore, they still have mounds from the Indians and the first settlers there ate so much shellfish and food and stuff like yeah. that supply there that they made mounds of just shellfish, like oyster shells, clams and stuff like that. So I guess there's still a few mounds left today that they really? have. Yeah. So they were set, well, they sat around and shot stuff. Very interesting. I didn't know that either. All 
right, coming down in here. Yeah, this is East 188, right there it says on the uh, sign. Uh, very cool. It is swampish, as you can see. Man, it is that pretty. Is so pretty, yes. Wow, isn't that pretty? Neat. All right, yeah. And I guess actually Dolphin Island was the capital of the Louisiana Territory, even after. Um, I believe it was the French that had it first, and then the Spanish had it, and then after the War of 1812, it didn't actually become American until 1813. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of the timing there. That's interesting. Some of the settlers, or some of the people that came over, thought that there was a massacre that happened on it because they had so many... Skulls everywhere. Skulls and, yeah. and they thought it was like a lost colony that a massacre that had happened. Pretty pretty interesting. They say it's haunted too. Like I read one story they said that they it was like a red headed chief. Uh, they still see him walk up down the beach and uh, they said that there at times people have reported of seeing footsteps in the sand that glow. <laughs> so really haunted down here of course a lot of history to do with the pirates spanish french and then uh, of course then you come on up into the civil war everything that's went on in that as well i'm curious to see how i feel when i get down here i don't know what to expect once again of course you can go online and look all this stuff up that's the way steph and i do we just get online and start reading as anybody does on google and I think that they consider this Alabama Scenic Byway. Uh, we were on that earlier before we turned into turned onto 188 um, and gone through Coden. So I believe it's the same. I'm not. I may be wrong, but um, yeah, like you said, it's it's pretty cool. You can do as much research as you want, but once you're in it, it's, it's still a little different. It's yeah, right. Um, like I said, you never know the roads and how the road conditions are. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what we're showing you right now. There's uh, nothing to fret about down through these roads. Ran probably an average of 55 miles an hour. Uh, there's a little course there that we was able to pick it up and, and me and Mama opened the old road glide up a little bit. So here we turn on south 193. That's what we're on right now. Mobile Bay Ferry. So we're heading that way. Uh, once again, Tarmax Great to Tow Ferry. So this is coming into the ferry. It's what it's telling us. We're on the right track. Well, I gotta tell you guys, this bridge is crazy. Check this out. We're fixing to go over here. It goes over to Dolphin Island. I mean, from the side, look at that. Looks like we're just gonna ramp that damn thing. I just, for some reason, want to just hammer down right now. Just like vlog it. Wah. Speed limit is 55 and I'm already doing 70, so I'm gonna just uh, slow her down. Super badass. We should have a great view up here. You can see some uh, old Derricks out here working. You can see uh, quite a few ships. What a pretty day. Me and Mama are taking it all in. A great moment right here in time new memories oh yeah here we're gonna about apex this bridge right about now all right it shows us 92 feet above sea level right about now 104 so we peaked out right there very cool look at the view y'all weather outside right now 60.8 on the infotainment center is telling me uh, we're running 62 miles an hour across this bridge going into Dolphin Island. Six hundred feet. I take a left. So yeah, there's a lot of places to eat here. There's gas stations. Uh, if you want to save a little bit of money, do get gas before you get down in here. It's you know around twenty cents higher. So we left out of Biloxi this morning and we're traveling over here to Dolphin Island just to kind of check out the island and then the ferry on over to Fort Morgan. All the way over from New Orleans all the way, we've been riding 90 
And right now, I think we're on another little road that cuts off 90 down here to come to Fort Morgan and uh, catch that ferry. But the tarmac has been great. The road has been great. You run about an average of 55 miles an hour. Yeah. So, yeah. come on, ride with us. Let's go see what this island's all about. Shocked at that as well. Um, so, I want to know where the fort is. I understand we're going to the ferry. Yes, I think the fort is just off to the left of the ferry, I believe, from okay. looking at the map and researching and trying to find out more information. Yeah, because I'm getting, I really want to see it. Kick it on the GoPro there. Uh, right now, we're running a 10 Evo by Senate, both Steph and I. Also, as you can see up here, we've got the Rick Rack mount with uh, the GoPro holder running the GoPro. Yeah, so if you guys are tuning in, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. I am the honorary one. The chickie set behind me is the honorary squad together. We ride coast to coast on this road glide and we show you our adventures. And we try to do it on a dime. Always trying to do a budget thing and so we can go farther. So absolutely go check out our other videos. We've got a lot down here in our channel. Just look right down there. Subscribe. We'd uh, appreciate that. And if you'd like, you can become a honorary one member. Let's get this underway. What the fuck is going on up here? Alright, so <laughs> this is auto auto traffic for the ferry is on the left. Auto ferry boarding lane to the left. Okay. So we don't necessarily want to board just yet. We just kinda well, wanna drive here and So if you wanted to get on the ferry, you'd take your left right here. Which we're not really doing that yet. Hey, we passed that guy coming over the bridge. Yeah, we did. Super cool. Uh, yeah, so you take this. As you can see, there's a pretty good line there as of right now. Look at all the line of people. They're just out talking. And it's a run on a certain time, too. So we're going to look. We're going to roll on by, though, because we... There it is. Super badass. Okay, okay. Yes. That's how it works. All right. Okay. Okay, no big deal. All right, so you guys, as you just seen, if you're coming down here, really, really easy. You just take the left lane if you want to get on and stop and pay. If not, take your right lane and you're going to go right on down here and uh, <laughs> go wherever the hell we're going right now. We don't know. We're just United States Coast Guard. Okay, Dolphin Island Sea Lab. Oh, wow. No shit. Very cool. Oh wow, man, this is fucking cool. Here, here we go, hun, right here. That's surely it. I mean, it's got a. Yes, this is it. This okay. is it. Okay. So this okay. is historic Fort Gaines, established in 1821. It's the right site on. of the Battle of Mobile Bay. Yeah. So they did actually coin the phrase here: "Damn the torpedoes." Damn the torpedoes and full speed ahead. And they also coined beam me up scotty they did oh shit that's bullshit oh. i'm running my damn mouth i really thought maybe they did and i was like wow that's cool very cool so if you guys don't know this is fort Gaines, and we're going to take the ferry on over to fort morgan these two forts were built to protect mobile bay so remnants like this had washed up on shore and um, this is the bottom of a of a ship that would have held you know the ribs of a ship but um they tested i guess the wood and stuff right. they said it had been a ship from like the 1800s oh, wow. and the purpose of the ship the origin of it or the crew is unknown so it's just remnants of a old old ass ship three inch rapid fire cannons these guns were to be used against ships that slipped in underneath the fire of the larger guns inside the fort. This battery was used until World War One. Wow, no kidding. Boom, boom. Damn. Delicious base. This is really cool. So they had some of the guns mounted right down here. This is really cool. Get back up in here. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Digging it. Ooh, let's go back in here. You know, they say these are, this place is pretty haunted. So. Mm. 
Do I feel spooky right now? No, not yet. You're playing. Is there anybody here? Spirits? Ghost? Speak now? Do you hear anything? So these are the original cans that were used and then within the fort there's five original brick buildings, um, a kitchen, blacksmith shop, um, tunnels. Right. I remember reading about that. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Let's go check it out. Okay. So this is where we produced um, currency and parchment paper. So we've got paper money from the War of 1812, different Confederate currencies. This is the state of Georgia. I think this is 50 cents. That's 50 cents. 50 cents. Wow. It's the oldest instrument of national government in force in the world, and it is. The Constitution of the United States. Super yes. badass. Yeah. Dollar nine nine. How do you get in? Right through those doors. Yes, right. Yeah. Right on, Steph. So we went ahead and got the tour. How much was it a piece? Yeah, it was eight dollars a piece, and it's eight kind of a, a self-guided tour. She gives you a map. Right. how they have it laid out it's pretty cool so we're right here at number 26 marker and they've got all these little different markers and it tells you a little bit about each one of them so we actually start here we're going to go up this is the gun ramp and this is going to take us up above okay all right and then we're going to come down on this side of the gun ramp and then continue on and check out these individual buildings here right on yeah this is badass it opens up and like I just showed you coming through the door. You're just kind of like, whoa. I mean, such a sad place. So right here is number one. So they have these little boxes so you can check off or little stands. South, South gun, gun ramp. ramp. Gun ramp. Okay. Man, what a pretty day. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory then. So if you guys want to look in here. So we left out of New Orleans yesterday. We took Chef Mentor Highway on up through uh, the coast of Mississippi, down around the Mississippi Sound, and then crossed over here to Dolphin Island. So we're on Dolphin Island here at the very edge of the port here, and this is Fort Gaines. So we're gonna take the ferry here in a little bit on over to Fort Morgan, and this is the Mobile Bay. So those two forts, were established and built to protect the yeah. Mobile Bay. Yeah, the bay. Super badass, man. You know, guys, it's just like, for me, whenever you go to these places, like you can look it up, you can look online, you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna be like, but to come somewhere, and I've really been looking forward to this. I so love it. Super easy to walk too, guys. Nothing. For you folks out there that have a little trouble getting around and stuff, it's it's okay. You can get around. That is Sand Island, view of Pelican Harbor, Sand Island, site of the present day lighthouse, lies in the Gulf of the Southeast. Right Directly there. to the south, formerly lay Pelican Island, a thin split of sand like Sand Island was before the hurricanes removed and altered the shores. Okay. So there's a beacon out there. Ooh, I want to shoot this mofo. Kaboom. Gotta make the sound. Ooh. What do we have here? Explore. Ooh. I don't know, but I'm going. Yeah, I'm gonna set my helmet up here. Cause I got a pass go to collect 200 bucks, so I will not forget it. I'm gonna go down in here and see what this is all about. It's super badass. I'm gonna try to get up above so you guys can see what I'm going down. My beard's getting in the way. Oh yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love it. Down, 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 down. So dig it. I don't know what this is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go back in here. All right, you wanna go back in there? 
I don't know if you guys can see. I don't have another light. Steph didn't follow me. Okay. Yeah, you can see kind of good. Let's go back in. Oh, wow. I can't see shit. Oh. Oh, I love it. And they look at this. The mortar work they've done here and laid this. Think how much time this took. Hope you guys can see me. Isn't this cool? Okay, hang on. Hello? Do y'all hear anything? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Still a try. Unless you did it or something. Okay, how, how could this place not be spiritual? That's spirit. Then we go right back up where we came. Do, 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 do. Short steps. Super cool. Super cool. Loved it. Uh, oh, wow. so cool i just let you get up here and walk around i definitely would recommend coming here and taking your time to do this so it's two quarters this is for distant viewing oh you've got two quarters Two quarters exactly-ish. Go ahead, Mama. What do you see? Distance? pizza with extra cheese can't go in there i thought they had this stuff open we gotta shut down oh wow oh hell yeah oh, look, look at the anvil. anvil oh drill press over car. there oh look at that thing box nice. yeah and they got that drill press over there where you winch it yeah and rather there's stone mill where you can sharpen right here's where they had their forge upset going so we should go in there and those around their hammers dang it man spare it an anvil or two i see five right there. be good for you etsy lots of cool ass shit steph and i would go in there and stay days poking around yeah maybe not days maybe a day we really like that oh shit got a lot of it at home not a lot we got some shit though what are these so these you see the tracks on the ceiling inside those rooms? Yeah. These rooms show tracks on the ceiling on which traveling slings, hauling ammunition. Yeah, no, no, okay. Over the doors are visible four Davids which house the ammunition up to the guns. Oh, here's up to the guns. Okay. Okay, okay. Gosh, this thing just, you just keep on stuff. What the hell is this? This is one of the whole, the whole ribs. Oh, cool. Letters. Final letters to the loved ones were written while on the fort games. Super cool. Quartermaster's office, so like uniforms and stuff like that were kept here. Oh, badass. 
check out the cards. Wouldn't that be a great sleep? Ugh. You know what? This ain't too bad. Feels like a hammock. It does. Boys and girls, let me tell you something. The tour of the fort here is super badass. Fort Gaines, telling you, come down and check this out. Super cool, and it's gonna take you a little bit more time than you think. Like we had an hour and a half before the ferry runs. We're pushing it right now. We're gonna have to hustle a little to catch this ferry. So we're in a little bit of a time crunch already. This is 21. This is the officer's quarter. Officer's quarter. Last thing we're going to look at. So this is where they, the captains. Yeah. And it said standard garrison for this fort is around 400 men. 400 men here. Whoo. That's a lot of food and a lot of poop. Hmm. 400 men shoved in here. The 25 right back here, I believe. Is the gun check. Right, yeah, that kid apparently is ready to get the hell out of here. And just like that, guys, the tour of Fort Gaines was all that. God bless America. I love it. If you guys get a chance, I'll get down here and take this tour. Like I said, give yourself a little bit more time because it's going to take you that. It just, you just start reading, looking. If you're scheduling you uh, for about an hour, schedule two. Cause you think it's not gonna take that long, but like I said, it really does. All right guys, we just got done taking the tour over here at Fort Gaines. We're in a bit of a hurry. Cause we gotta get over here and catch this ferry. Uh, it leaves at 3.30 and it's 312 right now if you can see my time on my display here it is off an hour I need to change that so we're gonna roll up here catch the ferry and head on over to Fort Morgan okay so we're coming from this direction so I wonder if we whip it around yep yep yep, yep. so we go past right there's the ferry There should be a little booth up here. We'll get our ticket and get in line. Get in line. That's right. That's right. We're going to make it. We're going to roll up here and pay the nice people. Steph's got some money in her pocket. Steph's hopping off. Hi. Pay the young man. It costed us $15. So a motorcycle one way is $10. With a passenger, it's an extra five dollars, so it is 15. fifteen bucks. All right, guys. So we're fixing to load the ferry now. Give you guys a view of how it works. Like you just seen, Steph paid the tollman, and we got our board to pass ticket. Is that what it's called? Yes, vehicle boarding card. Boarding card. So they've just got it numbered down through here, and as you come down, you're just getting a. I'm sure so they can see, they know how many cars are lined up. Gives them a visual. I bet they're so good at it, they can just look down there and about tell you by glancing how many cars or vehicles. I got a nice big old fat gnat flying around up my nose, around my eyes. I hate it when they get stuck in your glasses right against your eyeballs and bounce around. Yeah, yeah. super nice, super cool. Give her a tiggy. Thank you, sweetheart. Very sweet. We got the traffic over here stopped, so you can cross. All right, I've been looking forward to this. Yeah. Nice. Ride the ferry. Once again, what did it cost this moment? Um, ten dollars for a motorcycle, mm -hmm. and then five dollars if you have a passenger on the motorcycle too. So we ride two up. Yep. So it costs us fifteen dollars to uh, ride. And it's, right. from what I've heard, it's about a twenty-minute ride from here in Dalton Island over to Fort Morgan, or right you on. may call it Mobile Bay. Super easy, super nice. Right behind this st street glide. Okay. I know they say to stay with your bike the whole time.
guys, this is cool as hell. If you get a chance to do this, that's another thing. The ride over here on the ferry. Love it. Steph and I have enjoyed this so much. Super easy. They pull you right on. They tell you where to park. You park your bike. Yeah. Hang out with your bike. Yeah. Get to walk up on the ramp. No problem at all. You'll love it. Do it. Definitely do this right here. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this content or if you know anyone that does like this content, be sure to share it and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, guys. Y'all stay on there.